Hi, today I will show how to use the ESP module as an Arduino device. I will use this ESP07 module, uh, that's the latest revision, which is compatible with the pinouts to the ESP12 module. To make it very simple for you, I will not use a self-edged PCB breakout board and also I will just use the most basic and simple parts to get the circuit running. So let's get started. What we need is an ESP7 or ESP12. In the latest version they have the same pin configuration, these holes through the pins which we need to solder a wire through and uh, maybe there is instead of CHPD a uh, marking uh, which means EN for enable, but this is similar. Then we need a breadboard obviously, some jumper wires and a an USB to serial converter like this one. This is an FTDI uh, which supports 3.3 volt signals here. Let's check out first which pins we have to solder. My FTDI doesn't have a reset so I will not connect it. I will just repower the device by disconnecting VCC. So I will need the VCC, the CHPD which is EN in this case, then on ground and GPIO15. I will not use this pull down resistor here. Instead I will just connect it directly then the GPIO0 to set it in a program mode and obviously TX and RX to communicate. will be okay. So first of all I will place the FTDI over here. Then I will connect the ground rail to also the ground rail to the ground of the ESP module. And then I will not use a pull down resistor and just connect the GPIO15 to ground as well. And then CHPD to 3.3 volts. So this will be my power rail over here. And VCC to the power rail. And then we need also the RX and TX. So TX is on the top here. And this will be connected to the RX of the FTDI, which is here. Also the RX of the ESP to the TX of the FTDI, like this. Now we need the 3.3 volts. This time I will use a crude method to get the 3.3 volts to our power rail over there. I will use some diodes to drop the voltage from 5 volts to 3.3. So let's connect them. Um, the marking has to go in negative direction. When I measure now I can see the voltage drop. So we still have 4.6 there and there is 4.9. So we need some more in series. Measuring now, 3.1 should be ok. So I connect it to the power rail. Um, but it doesn't light up. So let's check again. It even dropped to 1 volt. This is because the voltage drop of the diode is higher when there is some current flowing. So let's check how many diodes we need to get the correct voltage there. So let's check over here. I think somehow like 3 or 2 should be okay. Yeah, it's blinking a little bit. Let's check here. Mm, 
two volts is too less. So 2.8 volts is enough to get this running, but just use this method with caution. To boot this device in program mode, we have to connect GPIO0 to ground and reset it. I will just reconnect the power. You can find every information how to use an ASP as an Arduino on this page. This guy did really great work. There is some documentation down here. You can see the supported boards over here. There is some information on each board and also the schematics how to connect it up. There is also the information for a minimal configuration and better stability and so on. If you want to know what features are supported and what not, just go to the reference. You can find there a summary about all the features, the libraries and how to use them. The best way to find out what works and what not is to try the examples that are provided by this uh, SDK here. So let's check out how to install this SDK. To install it we have just to do the steps here. So let's go on. So to start working with the ESP and the Arduino software you need to set um, this link in the preferences uh, to get uh, additional boards. Um, then press OK and then you go to board, boards manager and then you can use like the ESP here and then you will get the install button there and you have just to install it and you will get all the boards and uh, programmers and uh, settings that you need for the ESP module and also examples like uh, here all the stuff so uh, what we like to do now is um, to set up the programmer so we have this USB ASP this is working with my FTDI and then the FTDI port is 13 and then I just always selecting the generic ESP module you can try other setting like the ESP12 or something so the blink program doesn't work so we start um, right away with um, the web server so let's do it hello server as you can see uh, you have to type in um, the connection credentials of your Wi-Fi there and then uh, this will provide somehow a web server there. Now let's try it. So I will enter the credentials here and now I will just um, yeah try to upload it. So we press on upload it will compile the sketch and upload to the ESP. After the programming is done, the sketch is running already. For the next restart, we have to disconnect GPIO0 again. Like this. We can get some debugging information when we just open the serial monitor there. Yeah, it's connecting and it uh, worked with my Wi-Fi and now I can check if the server is there. If you're running it in a different environment, then you can get the IP from your router. I can see here um, there is uh, the ESP module and it got the IP58. So I will try this with the browser here. And it's working! So this was my basic tutorial how to easily wire up the ESP module with very few components, how to configure your Arduino IDE and upload a sketch which just provides a web server that's connecting over your Wi-Fi to your local network and is providing a website. 
I hope you liked it. Now we can start to do some home automation using the GPIOs of this ESP module and control stuff like lights and so on. So if you liked it, subscribe, give it a thumb up and tune in again. Bye! So all in all it was Wow.